Hey guys, uh, today we will show you step by step installation uh, video how you can mount uh, the fabbing kit for the KTM 690 2019 and younger uh, from Raid Garage. Uh, the kit was designed uh, for as easy installation as possible. Uh, in fact, you should be able to do it with one pair of hands, everything. Yeah, and we advise rather to book complete afternoon uh, for your installation. Um, guys, let me quickly explain you what you get when you buy the 690 fairing from us. Of course, you get the windshield, uh, you get the side panels, they are from Lexan, so they are quite flexible. Press you get the road legal headlights with the original connectors, so you just plug and play. You get the aluminium tower, yeah. The dashboard is ready for all the connectors and also for the USB portlet. And here is also the crossbar. Uh, and then you get packs, uh, one pack uh, with the uh, uh, bar, uh, handlebar risers, Garmin adapter, etc. Here are the mounting hardware, here are the upper and lower clamps holding the tower, uh, the turn signals, um, they come also from the, uh, with the original connectors, here is the flexi cover uh, with the stickers uh, for the windshield. You need to remove also uh, the brake hose and from the right side uh, there are also two bolts one above the turn signal and second without the brake hose one bolt upper bolt now lift up the mask upside and take it out here is the connector for the headlights to raise it and, and the mask is out. This is what you get when you remove the original headlight. A uh, lot of connectors, but don't worry. Eh? Uh, the aim now is to remove the black plastic holder. Uh, so to be able to do it, we need to get out and disconnect almost all connectors. First, we need to cut the zip ties. Yeah, and carefully, please, this one. Second zip tie, third zip tie, and here is next to the turn signal is the fourth zip tie. Guys, don't be scared. It's possible to handle it quite easily. Um, we suggest take a, such a small screwdriver because now we need to disconnect uh, all the cables. Uh, one advice could be that you start, let's say, from the everything, but comes from the handlebars, yeah? And it's good, this one, uh, here is the three pin, the six pin, another thing coming from the handlebars, here is one more coming from the handlebars. So what we suggest to get out first the, the ABL, uh, ABS control, it has such a small pins here, so if you push them, so you can get it out like this, you see? Now you take out the, the, heat, uh, the heat sensor, yeah, so you have even more space. There's one more cable coming from the handlebars, so take it away. Now it's easier to get out the 6-pin and the 3-pin. Yeah? Uh, now you see all the cables from the handlebars are out. So you put them over the handlebars, yeah? So you have here more space and you don't get confused with the other stuff. On the right side, there are the controls, neutral, oil, and turn signals. You just take it out, pull it down like this, and here, the control, you just press out and put it immediately back. When you do it like this, you know always this is a neutral, yeah? Again, pull it out, push it out, and put back, controls are out. Now we go to the right handlebar. Here is one connector, uh, it's out. This is the second connector. And the third one is already free, yeah? So again, let's go uh, one by one out. So again, yeah, this is coming from the right handlebar. Yes, you again put it somewhere here um, to have more space. And we see here, there are two more cables going uh, around to the frame. They are from the electric wires. 
So we have to go from the left side of the motorbike and disconnect it there. To access the connectors, go from the left side of the motorbike and release this bolt first. You see under the plastic cover, here are two connectors. So just disconnect them. The four pin is easy to disconnect, but the six pin, uh, there is more security thing. So you have to kind of pull it out yeah, like this and then you can release it easily. Now pull the, the, the wires out, you can close it for a while and push it through and you take it out from the, from the front. Now we disconnect also the speedo, you push it here carefully, you get it out. And this is coming from the USB port, you disconnect it too. And now in fact you should be done except the turn signals. We forgot here one zip tie on the main harness, you see here, so you cut it too, carefully. And now you get the, the 4 pin and the 6 pin also out through this uh, right top corner, yeah, and you put it above the handlebars. Now we need to release uh, the, the, the plastic mask, so here are two bolts, one and a second. To be able to get the mask completely out, here are the brake holes. I'm sorry, but we need to cut uh, the plastic part to, to be able to release it in this area. So take um, some very sharp knife, good scissors, whatever you have, multi-tool, and you, and you cut uh, in this area. So here we are out. Now you lift up. The, the mask holder. You need now to get out from the mask uh, this big harness and again uh, the, the brake hose. So we suggest you cut it in one more area here in between these two, two pins. Yes, yeah, so you cut it here out. Um, you have several options Yeah, how to cut it uh, with different tools uh, either sharp knife or we use a multi-tool. Just when you do it, be careful about the, the brake holes and the other harness, yeah? So put it away as much away as possible. Now you see here is a cut. So I take out first uh, the brake holes. Yeah. And now very carefully also uh, the harness. Yeah, just make sure it's better to do it in the area of the big harness. Yeah. Uh, first we will mount uh, the hand handlebar risers and also the gouge for the Scotts damper. Yeah? To be able to do it, we need to remove the handlebars and also the handlebar uh, clamps. So you start releasing uh, the handlebar bolts. Carefully remove the, the handlebars and it's good um, to secure them somehow. So you avoid they, they fall down. Now we need to release the handlebar clamps. Here is the bolt Torx 45, and from the bottom uh, there is nut number 17. Uh, the thing is, it's Loctite, yeah? so it's not easy uh, to release it. You will have to use quite a lot of force. Now prepare the Loctite and the M8 by 50 bolts, and you can put here already and the Scott Damper gouge. Insert the bolt into the original clamps, use the Loctite, and you can uh, bolt on into the dripper clamps. Uh, guys, when tightening the, the handlebar clamps, they could rotate, yes? Yeah? So it's not easy to align them uh, to fit in correctly the handlebars. So you don't super tight, you do the alignment, and then the trick is, you put from the top the allen bolt and you just hold it and you tight from the bottom. Yeah, the, the bottom nut you tight and it should somehow work that you don't move or rotate the upper clamp, yeah? Now mount back the uh, handlebars. Take the hose guide and M6 by 16 bolts with a flat head.
you insert the brake hose and the guide like this and you bolt on to the triple clamps. Now we will mount the upper clamps. Um, so prepare the, the uh, four M6 by 25 bolts and the Loctite. You put uh, the top clamp on the frame. So the one with the dot, it goes to the left side on the motorbike. It's easy. Put a bit of Loctite on a, on a bolt. Now we insert the opposite clamp from the bottom. Now again the bolt with Loctite. We align the holes. Now we tight. If you plan to use the Scott's damper, so you have to mount now the pin holder. Uh, you prepare the short uh, M6 bolts, Loctite and, and the pin holder. Bit of Loctite and you bolt on. And, and now we insert the pin. Now we can start preparing the tower. Um, we have to uh, take out uh, this front cover to be able to access uh, the inner part. So there are one, two, three, and on the other side the same one, two, three bolts you have to uh, take away. You see now the tower is open and ready for installation of the speedo and the controls. Uh, find the original mask holder because here is still the, the speedo so we need to get it out. Um, there are two bolts or two screws from the bottom so just take them out and take out the speedo. And you will need to get out also the, the original uh, grommets. To have the tower ready for the installation we need to do a few things before. Yeah, prepare the speedo with the original screws uh, the ABS control, the USB port LED, the extension cable, the triangle grommet and 3B grommets. And, um, and the original grommets from the Speedo, they are already here. We advise to start with the ABS. What is important is put it here like this. And then the triangle goes only from the bottom. Now you place there the grommets. It's, it's, it's there, you can check from the bottom that they fit correctly also. Prepare the USB portlet. From the bottom, you can check where is plus and minus. And here is the extension, so where is plus, we suggest to put the, the red cable. Now you insert it inside and you secure it from the bottom. People are asking why it's so close to the speedo. Yeah, why it's not moved forward because it has certain length and if you would move it even forward you won't be able to put here uh, the extension cables you insert it into the original grommets and you use the original screws uh, here be very careful because you mount into the plastic so if you over tighten it you will destroy your speedo which is very expensive Guys, so now the tower is ready for the, for the installation. Now prepare the M6 by 25 bolts and the tooth washers and the Loctite to mount the tower. Now prepare again the bolt with a tooth washer, Loctite, and then you'll have to squeeze it a little bit. And bolt on. Um, don't tie it yet because you need certain flexibility now to insert the low clamps. Before um, you enter the low clamps here, uh, just make sure that the harness, the main harness, uh, goes in this area. Uh, simply it will be above the clamps. Yeah. And that the harness is inserted in the tower already with all the connectors. Um, prepare the low clamps, uh, left and right are symmetric, the same. Uh, the M6 by 40 bolts and two nuts. Both, uh, take the both clamps at once and insert them from the bottom. Take the bolt, align the holes, it's the same. And now take the nuts and secure it from the other side. Now make sure uh, that you didn't squeeze any, any connector in between the clamps. 
you can actually uh, tighten fully uh, the, the, the tower. Guys, um, now it looks a little bit scary to connect everything back together, but it's not here. Yeah? Um, all the connectors are unique, so in fact you cannot mix them up. Uh, what I suggest, let's start with the controls. Again, pull it out. Yeah. When you push uh, in, inside the grommet, it's good to hold the grommet also from the bottom or to support it from the bottom. Yeah, it's here like this. And you connect it from, from the bottom. Uh, guys, these are the, the power sources. Uh, they are marked ACC1, which is uh, connected directly to the battery, and the ACC2, then it conne uh, that is connected to the ignition key, yes? Yeah? So it, the, the ACC2 works only when uh, the key is on. But of course it's up to you, yeah? And, and actually now is a good time uh, to decide if you want to do some, some customizing. You might need, uh, you might want to add another USB port, you might add the heated grips, so it's a good time to connect it right now, yeah, before uh, you close the tower. Now it will be a bit of a game, we suggest to start with a, a speedometer sensor, yeah, and you keep it like this from, from the bottom. Now take the, the connectors from the uh, electric wire uh, from the right handlebar, and you go here around the neck, you will connect it back from the left side of the motorbike. Now, now you connect the speedo, for instance. You can connect also the ABS sensor. Put inside the cables from the from the handlebars. You can immediately connect this this two pin. Now you take all the cables from the left handlebar and put them inside the, the tower. Connect the, the six pin, connect the, the three pin, and you can always put it inside the towel when it's done. You can connect this connector now. When everything is connected together, uh, so we suggest you take the key and, and you try, uh, you can even, even try to start the, the engine, uh, you can try the high beam, low beam, uh, the turn signals, Okay, now you can try if all the controls work correctly, you can start uh, the motorbike, yeah? So you put everything inside, uh, just randomly. Only one important thing, you leave here, like this, in the bottom, the connector from the headlights and the connector from the turn signals, because you will need to access them uh, later. And now you can mount back the, the, the front cover. The advice for is just a finger tight. When all boards are in, you can, you can type. Of course, don't forget the upper to mount the upper windscreen holders. Now, take the box with the headlights. Um, there is also a small pack with eight bolts, and you will mount into this holder later on, yeah? Also, the headlights has the original uh, socket, so it's very easy just to connect uh, into the source. Now insert the headlights into the holders. Uh, the one with the shorter tube goes to the upper position, it's a high beam. The longer tube goes to the low position, it's a low beam. And here are ovals, yes? So you can adjust actually the direction of the beam. Guys, now you connect the headlights. And you do a test if it works or not. And now uh, you hold the turn signal collectors because you will need them later but you push inside the tower um, the headlight connector. You zip tie the, the cables uh, from, from the headlights. In the headlights box, you will find this paper. Yeah, quite important thing, because on the first pages, uh, there are the copies of the uh, certification. Yeah, so it's good to keep it with you. Yeah, and on the last page, there is explanation how you can correctly set up the beam uh, the direction of the beam of the headlights. And you mount it back, like this. Uh, guys, now it's time to finish the windshield, prepare the windshield. Now I suggest you take a sticker and you cut it, 
close to this black edge. And the point is, you stick it from inside. When you more or less align this corner, you will you will get it there, yeah? Now for the video, I do it from crazy uh, angle, yeah. <laughs> I don't see it correctly. It's good to get as much possible to this radius. And you do the same for the other side. Uh, the next step, you take the mesh, yeah? And you stick it, uh, you stick it around. Uh, what we suggest, you start at the, here, the top middle corner, yeah? And you go uh, on, on both sides. You see, we have covered the holes now, yeah? Um, the point is, if there would be the holes, you would never uh, fit it correctly on four of, uh, all four of them. So now it's good to take a sharp knife, yeah, or drill, and cut again the, the holes into the into the windscreen, yeah. And now the windscreen is ready to be mounted on the motorbike. Before we mount it, uh, just a quick explanation about this windshield. This windshield is injected, yeah. So it's a technologically a step ahead for us and for you also as customers uh, when we compare with the windscreens we had before, because this one uh, can have already integrated shader, has integrated spoiler, uh, the round edges edges are integrated too. Uh, so the injected technology allows us to do um, uh, sharp, uh, more sharp edges and, and so on. So it looks more advanced and feature-wise it's also more advanced. There is one downside. You won't see it now, but when you look against the, the light at home in your garage, you might see there, uh, some people think these are scratches. These are not scratches, but there are some um, tiny uh, frozen structures, let's say, inside, yeah, it's not on the surface, it's inside the, the windshield. Right, now we have to prepare the side panels, yes, they are for Lexan, so they're pretty, pretty durable, not easy to break them. Um, from the other side, there is a hole uh, for the turn signals, so um, you have to decide if you want the turn signals or not. If you want uh, to have the, the, the turn signals, take the sharp knife and cut it out, take the third Take the turn, turn signal, take out the nut, put the connector through the side panel, place it inside. Now you take uh, the, the rubber nuts, M5, and you place them into the first and into the last hole. Uh, the middle one you keep free. Now you mount the side panels uh, together with the windshield. Uh, be aware you're mounting against the rubber nut, so you don't have to, uh, don't over tight, yeah? Uh, there needs to be still some flexibility, yeah? In between the side panels and the windshield, yeah? This is enough how the rubber nut should be tightened. Yeah. And secondly, never use Loctite, yeah? Once you use Loctite in here, you will be never able to release it. Uh, guys, now we are ready to put on the, the fairing. Yeah. You need again um, the M5 by 16 with the plastic washers, and you just finger tight the windscreen on top holders. Guys, now you connect the turn signals. Um, the green one is the right one, and the red one is the is the left one. Yeah. And once you connect it, you push. Uh, the cables inside the tower so they doesn't interfere with the fender when you are turning the handlebars. Now take the M5 by 20, the longer bolts, with the plastic washers. Again, you are going against the, the rubber nut, so the lower cut. Now we need to attach the side panel uh, to the original panel. First, you align these corners, one on each other. Yeah, you should be well aligned. You prepare a drill, a uh, five millimeter. You drill carefully through the original side panel. Now you take the drill, ideally nine and a half millimeter diameter, and you drill only, you drill only the original panel, very carefully and slowly. Now prepare the rubber nut and put the bolt inside, because then it's easier to insert it, to push it into the hole. Take out the bolt and now you only finger tight. 
Now we take again the five millimeter drill and you drill through into the original panel very carefully. Now we release this bolt again. Take the 9.5 millimeter drill and do carefully the bigger hole into the original plastic only. And you insert it into the original panel. Uh, this is the headlight cover and here is the orange uh, frame, yeah? Uh, it's totally up to you if you like it there or not. If you like it, you have to stick it on. You peel it from top center. Yeah, so the top is ready. And now you go for the legs, yeah? Uh, in the headlights cover, there are the holes. In, um, in a sticker, they are not. So you have to do them. Guys, the last operation, you mount the, the headlight cover, you prepare the M4 by 16 bolts and the plastic washers, and you bolt on. When you bolt on the headlights cover, uh, go always around and around and tight equally. Yeah? Always remember that you go against the rubber nuts, yeah, so not necessarily uh, too super tight. Guys, the installation is ready. So congratulations, yeah, and now you can start enjoying better wind protection, strong LED headlights and more space for navigation. We wish you to have nice trips with Rally Garage Fairing Kit for your 690.